With me, with HIV criminalization, in Nashville, Tennessee right now, a registered lifetime sex offender for aggravated prostitution. Um, I was sex trafficked at 15 years old into the sex trade and raped at 19 and infected with HIV intentionally. I feel like I'm suffocating, this pressure. Um, I feel I'm not a danger to children, but I'm treated as if I'm that molester. I'm treated with the same stigma and the same regulations that a, an adult can go and molest a 10 year old. Now I'm that individual because I'm HIV positive. I was charged with assault. And at trial, they used my HIV status. But I do believe that I was able to put a human face on this issue for Dr. Meyer. No longer was this affecting random people in the HIV community in Iowa. It was affecting Nick Rhodes, someone he had known for a decade. Being HIV um, criminally charged for not disclosing, I wasn't even diagnosed a year of uh, my diagnosis in 2005 when I had um, unprotected sex with a soldier in the Army. They made me, you know, just feel like my life was over. Then so many laws can be changed by me and you and so many other of us stepping out and allowing our voices to be heard. I understand that it is a lot to share with them, and I know they feel, think that I feel bad or for sharing it with them, but you know, it is me, it's a part of me, it's a part of my life, and so I can't really say that I'm HIV positive without explaining to them that, oh, by the way, I have been prosecuted and convicted of this, and, and this is where it's come to my life. But you know, I think a lot of them appreciate it because I'm also educating them and informing them about, you know, an injustice that does exist. No, I am in the, let me see, it's the sixth year of my 30 year sentence for um, having, having contact, official contact with, with my girlfriend at the time. Despite uh, it being well known that I was HIV positive, having an undetectable viral load, uh, and despite wearing a condom. Sometimes it's been a, it's been a struggle. It, it wasn't a very congenial jury as far as he went. So the jury found him guilty, and it was a 25-year um, offense, and he was also considered to be a sex offender. And this, uh, the Iowa law, now that's changed that, will make every difference, I think, in the, the fact that he may be out by Christmas. I had to really rely on my faith, and it made me stronger, um, and to realize that just because I was charged and convicted, I had to remember that it was the end of my life. And I'd like uh, Nick and Donald to come up to the front of the room right now. Donald is actually uh, celebrating his birthday. Today. And the gift to, to, to Donald is to uh, do away with an injustice. And that injustice uh, is uh, removing, yes. removing the GPS uh, ankle bracelet uh, that made him an offender. <laughs>